Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Yoru speaking and welcome to the introduction spoilers video for multiplayer game number 33. For all you new viewers to my channel, this is not the actual gameplay video, this is just a short summary of the game, so you can have information about the game itself and about the parts that you could be interested in, so you can decide if you actually want to watch the whole game or do you want to skip to the parts you are interested in. So this time I'm going to be playing a no quitters free for all 8 player game. Together with me in this game we had Atril playing as Spain, Enki Prosperous playing as Rome, Lucky Noob playing as Cottage, Mr. Singh playing as Songhai, Enki Shumi 16 playing as Aztecs, Ivan One only playing as Arabia, Bar Linden playing as Greece, and me playing as Hans. So spoiler alert and let's get to the game itself. My capital was lovely. I had two stones, two horses, four copper furs and a deer so that was just a very nice capital and the land around me was pretty decent as well I decided to went Liberty and after a little bit of scouting it it was looking like um, absolutely on alone with only Arabia on part of land so pretty interesting start I noticed that Arabia is going for hanging gardens. He stopped making troops quite some time ago and I was almost 100% sure that after hanging gardens he will just go for Petra. So I planned for an attack, kind of, well for me it was obvious that when you're close to Hans you just don't go hanging gardens Petra, but I planned attack so after he finished Petra I attack with my horse archers, taking him out very quickly, and then I put my eyes on Lucky Noob playing as Cottage. Uh, but he got Great Wall. Nevertheless, I did take one of his cities, and then I was I started to assault his second city to get the control of my little low. well, not yet mine, but this little piece of land. Getting his second city was pretty hard, with Great Wall that just took ages, in the meantime I lost Chichen Itza, but I finally broke his second city down and I started the assault on his capital, which fell down with the help of my crossbows. I secured the two last cities of Cartage, and then well, Barry was killing Spain. I was really hoping that I can help him, but I was too late. I declared on Barry anyways, because he was uh, our, well, the second in score and the closest threat to me. But I couldn't do much. After a short war campaign, I couldn't break him down and situation reached sort of a stalemate on this front. My attack was total failure. Barry pushed me back and he tacked straight to cavalry artillery. So with calves, he well basically I started to defend. I lost the city later on. Thankfully, well I took a risk. Um I got Forbidden Palace and I went for public schools. Before public school I got Gatlings, so thankfully I managed to get Gatlings just in time to stop him from taking Cottage out and I was able to put up some defensive positions against Barry. I was sitting back on my defensive position. I managed to get Taj Mahal, but in the meantime Barry took all his army, well almost all his army, and started attacking Shumi, which was starting to lose his ground. So I 
decided to attack Barry from the other side with my troops that were just sitting idle just to slow Barry down and force him to uh, to focus on me as well well I managed that they made peace and Barry started to slaughter me again <laughs> situation started to look not good somehow with a little bit of help of uh, citadel i managed to defend and don't lose cottage then i got my own cavalry so i was able to push him back uh, just a little bit though i lost a lot of ground because he planted a lot of great generals on me Well, again, I started to lose ground uh, a little bit. Actually, I did lose a lot of, of my ground forces. I did got planes, but they didn't help me that much. Well, I was able to kill a little bit of units, but I couldn't make any progress. I took, well, I was planning to take Carthage City uh, that Barry did liberate but he just took it instead of me and I was not able to do any real damage to him. I was not making too much progress with the war. I decided to go for Hubble Telescope. I did manage to get him, but get those two great scientists, so that helped me a little bit. And at that point I was like thinking, yeah, let's go for science victory because I couldn't do any progress and I couldn't do any real damage to Greece and then Shumi joined in on the action he made Manhattan project and he nuked two of my cities so I lost all my planes and now the nuclear apocalypse has started. Shumi was nuking my cities left and right. Uh, he nuked my capital. Thankfully, I did get bomb shelters in it, but that just set me back so much. So what I decided, uh, I knew the only chance for winning is to just go for space victories. So I started to make Apollo program and I just wanted to put enough ground troops to hold Shumi away from taking my capital. So even more nukes flying around all over my land like a nuke nuke apocalypse <laughs> so I was just trying trying to stay alive and produce parts as fast as possible and yeah we managed it we launched to space and claimed the victory but that was pretty close if Shumi just bring a bit more land army well I would be in much more trouble I would be able to make the spaceship in some other city the city that would become my capital because nobody did could get domination victory at that moment but still i think it was very close very great game hate player game i like it very much and i hope you will enjoy so i invite you to watch the actual game thank you very much for listening and best wishes to all of you yours out